Well, staying in the UK, we've got a very special guest. He needs no introduction, but we've done one anyway. Hello, I'm Bill Bailey. Mr Bill Bailey! Comedy legend Bill Bailey. <laughs> please welcome to the stage, Bill Bailey. Would you please welcome Bill Bailey? <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for joining us, Bill. You have an incredible resume. Black Books, QI, Hot Fuzz, Nanny McPhee, Doctor Who, international sellout tours. Follow-up question, what are you doing on this show? <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I like the way that you're portraying the UK as just a bunch of nutters and eccentrics. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these idiots. Look at these people. That's stroking a boulder. <laughs> yeah, we're not like that. Some of us, anyway. We're so sorry for insulting your famous boulders, but... No, we, I'm deeply uh... offended by that. <laughs> you look like you're in front of one of the boulders now. <laughs> yeah, but, it's a uh... giant boulder, look. Don't oh, caress it, don't caress it, don't caress it. It's so it. lovely. Mm, I like it. Uh, you are currently in the country after um, a massive tour around Australia. How's it going? Well, it's going really well, thanks, Mel. Um, actually, interestingly, uh, my tour started the day that Liz Truss's premiership started as well. Oh, wow. So I'm taking a serious bet that my tour is going to last longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Where are you now in Australia, Bill? I'm in Sydney right now, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's lovely here. It's a little chilly, which is, I like it that way. Yeah. I was given a hat in Hobart, which I'm wearing. Well, not right now, but it was a <laughs> lovely hat. <laughs> Interestingly, in Hobart, I was heckled on stage by postcard, which is, I think, a first. <laughs> wow. Did they mail yeah. it in? Yeah, it's just a postcard arrived with, you know, just a little bit of info on it. I thought, that's nice. That's a new one. I've never had that before. <laughs> Bill in Tasmania, technically that's the internet, so... <laughs> that's ci that's cyberbullying down there. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's so great to have you in the country, Bill, but we're conscious there's a lot happening back in your country in the UK. Liz yes. Truss, the Queen, the new King. What are your thoughts on what's, yeah. what's going on back home? I know, all of this since I left. I feel like I'm somehow responsible for <laughs> all of these things. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, Liz Truss, honestly, she's extraordinary. Like, uh, it's like someone... It's, when she speaks, it's like someone encountering words for the first time, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, it, it, I don't know, have you seen that, you know, the Harry Potter film with the, the dementors that suck the souls out of people? It's like she's... It's like she's sucking the meaning out of words as she says them. And then the words become meaningless and have to be reanimated. It's the most extraordinary thing. I've never seen the Britain as so trashed in internationally as you're doing a fantastic job. Of. But I mean, <laughs> it, it, honestly, it's it's like it's we become a joke, like a sort of a global laughing stock. <laughs> so you know, I, I mean, it's I've never seen it quite like this in my lifetime. Well, you know, the the big story is the the new king, and you yes. you you've met Charles, right? Yeah, I I performed at his 60th birthday and his 70th birthday. He got me round to his house to perform for his staff at their Christmas party. Yeah. Uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, he's um he's a he, he's someone that's. I don't think he's he's quite got the PR down for being king. <laughs> you know, he's been prince. He's been like he's never been king. It was like the joke was he's never ever going to be the king. And you know, so now he's there. He's like, I've got to be the king. I've got to watch what I say. And but he can't. He's just you know he's cooked. Every time he picks up a pen, it starts leaking. Oh, the bloody thing! <laughs> Well, we've got some footage of you here, Bill, performing for the King. And look, of all the instruments you could play for the new King, you went with these. <laughs> I love the bell. Look at his face. He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> I think they were just amazed that you were ringing bells and servants didn't appear on stage. That for them was the yeah. amazing, the amazing thing. Right, yes. no, actually, when I was doing the sound check, he came up to me and he goes, so are these actual bells you hang around a cow's neck? And I went, uh, yeah, they're actual, they're cow bells, they're, you know, as, yeah. as the name suggests. And uh, he said, well, how do you get to, how do you get the cows to nod their head in the right time? 
Mexican. What? He said, do you need like a cattle prod? Do you need a cattle prod to get them to nod their heads? And I'm thinking, am I getting trolled? I'm getting trolled by the King of England. I mean, he is a guy who can't figure out a pen, so... Yes. No. Well, there you go. But it's not, just, it's not just royalty you've worked with, Bill. You've also performed with our very own Melanie Bracewell. Oh, yes. yes. I have no idea Looking what... pretty sharp. Yeah. Yes. That looked like a steal for, like, a sort of cop show, like a Charlie's <laughs> Angels type. What was it? It was a show called Patriot Brains. It was on in New Zealand, and it was Australia versus New Zealand in So, quiz. obviously, yes. New Zealand won. But, uh, yes. oh, I've lost the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I would like to know, you've spent a lot of time in Australia and New Zealand. Your yes. thoughts, favourites? <laughs> well, this is a very loaded question, obviously. <laughs> um, uh, but, yes, I, I like them equally, he said, in a very tactful, <laughs> diplomatic way. Um, I spent a lot of time in both countries. Yeah, I think the thing is that these both countries, are, are, it sort of suits me because... I love the, the getting out and about, you know. I love mm. to get out in the outdoors. I love to do things, you know, like paddle boarding um, and diving and scuba diving and skydiving. And, you know, when I go skydiving in the UK, it's a very different kind of thing, really. <laughs> skydiving there is not that, you know, like everywhere in New Zealand and Australia is a gigantic drop zone. It's all beautiful, yeah. you know. Like, But in, in, the, in Oxfordshire, when I went skydiving, the, uh, as I was coming down, the instructor said, well, if you look down there, if you look through the fog, you can just make out the M40. I was like, mm. <laughs> you know, and then straight on the go cars it's like, there's a humpback whale breaching in the bay. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Bill's added some extra shows in Melbourne and Sydney. Check it out. Tickets will go so fast and it's well worth a look. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank Mr Bill Bailey! Yeah.